Hey guys, this is Terry of Warshlog. I had a quick video to show some tech tip on how to modify an E36 strut tower reinforcement plate. So as you can see, this is an E36 strut tower and they're relatively known for getting cracks in the towers because it's fairly thin sheet metal. BMW's fix from the factory is to make this reinforcement plate that's a formed curved plate stamping that slides up under the tower and just sits in there and it basically doubles the thickness of this strut tower. They come on the 95 to 99 M3s, and a lot of guys will put them on cars, and then they put our camber plate on, and they realize they can't get full camber adjustment either inboard or outboard, and I'll show why. So this fits underneath the tower on, above the camber plate, and this one has obviously been on a car, and I can tell because it's got a ding right here. Some guys will slam the camber in, and they'll ding the reinforcement, which fits right inside this ring. So to modify this, what we're going to do is, is three things. We're going to orient this correctly because this is slightly off center. Um, and so I can tell this is the way this goes. It's one on this, on this side. So when you flip this over, you can see the camber plate itself, the plate slides relative to the tower. And that's how we adjust camber on these cars. It slides this way. This is a really old, this is probably from 2008 or so. Um, it's in for a rebuild. So 10 good years out in the field, not too bad. Um, so to be able to get full adjustment with this reinforcement plate in, you've got to modify it where it hits on both of these two corners. And it's pretty obvious. So we're going to come in and trim this here so it'll slide that way and trim it here so it'll slide this way to give us full adjustment. Another thing is we're probably going to trim it right about here so that the strut tower itself is not banging into this ring uh, to get more inboard travel. Okay, so Donnie has modified this reinforcement plate in the three spots we talked about, which allows the camber plate to slide fully and get full adjustment range. It's at the limit of the slots now, and it'll also allow the strut shaft to come up right up to the edge. So that's how you modify an E36 reinforcement plate for the strut tower that comes from BMW to get the maximum camber. Thanks, guys. Perfect.